Hi, I'm Peter Gordon. Uh, this is my restaurant called Papa in Covent Garden and I'm making a really lovely rich dessert. It's a chocolate delice. I'm serving it with rhubarb cream and chocolate chip cookies. I'm using uh, Kru Virunga, which is from the Eastern Congo. It's an original beans, fantastic chocolate. It's a straightforward recipe. I've got 300 mils of cream and 140 mils of milk. I'm just going to bring that up to heat. And then it's really like making a custard, so you just need to separate uh, six eggs. This is the world's simplest recipe. So once the cream and milk come to the boil, just whisk your yolks. It's really like making a creme anglaise, a custard. Then pour the bubbling liquid onto the yolk, put about half of the milk and cream in, and then tip this back into the pot and then just cook it out until it coats the back of this, the spoon or the spatula you're using. Bring it almost to the boil. You can see how it's beginning to coat the back of the spoon here. So there's no sugar in here because you're just wanting the richness of the chocolate to do its trick. Then pour the hot custard over the chocolate. Stir it to dissolve. That's all nicely dissolved. And just pour it through a sieve, cover it with a bit of uh, paper, then put it in the fridge and chill it down for a couple of hours. I'm going to make a shortbread, it's my grandmother's shortbread recipe but with a bit of a twist. And here I've got 250 grams of butter and 160 grams of caster sugar, just nice soft butter. Just whip it all up so it creams itself. Okay, once it's lightened up and it's beginning to get a bit of a different colour, a bit more pale, you want to add flour and corn flour and spices. So I've got here 250 grams of flour, 130 grams of corn flour, half teaspoon of ground cinnamon, ground cloves and ground ginger. Two pinches of salt. Corn flour adds a shortness, which is why it's called shortbread, so it's a really brittle biscuit. If you use straight flour, it, it's fine, but you can also use rice flour, but something with no gluten, which is the protein in flour, just makes it a bit more crispy, a bit more short. Okay, once it's just coming together as a biscuit dough, you want to add the chocolate. So I've got 75 grams of the Kru Virunga, which is from the Eastern Congo. It's an original beans, fantastic chocolate. And also they do wonderful things um, with the society back in the Congo. So it's a great chocolate to use. Just roughly chop them. Throw that in, then just take your hands and bring it all together. With a shortbread you don't want to overwork it. You've got yourself a nice buttery, chocolatey dough and then you can either roll it out or just press it with your hand. You could do fingers, squares, whatever shape you want. This now goes in the oven at 170 degrees for about 15 minutes. A larger biscuit might take about 20 minutes or so. So earlier I made this chocolate delice which has been chilling in the fridge for four hours. I've got these little shortbread Kruvarunga chocolate again with cinnamon, cloves and ginger. And then I've got the rhubarb which I've poached in sugar and verjus and, and some whipped cream to put it all together. And some of this is lovely mate, served with strawberries, can be served with mango, blueberries, raspberries. Get yourself a nice hot spoon, just run it in some water. Drop a blob onto the plate, a bit of the cream, just a smaller little quenelle on top. Finish it off with a few of the shortbread. And what happens with these is they suck in a lot of the syrup from the rhubarb and become even lovelier to eat. So that's the, your dessert right there.